we're told to use integration by parts to determine the antiderivative. The integration by parts formula is shown below. The integral of u dv is equal to u of v minus the integral of v du. And we normally let u equal the part of the integrand that makes differential u simpler. So in our case, we will let u equal 3x and dv equal sine x dx. Again, we have u equals 3x and we have dv equals sine x dx. So now we differentiate to find differential u and we integrate to find v. The derivative of 3x with respect to x is 3 and therefore differential u is equal to 3 dx. Now we integrate both sides of this equation to determine v. Let's go ahead and show the work. Integrating both sides of the equation, we have the integral of 1 dv is equal to the integral of sine x dx. The integral of 1 with respect to v is v. v equals the integral of sine x with respect to x is negative cosine x. We do have a plus c here, but we'll leave that to the very end. So we have v equals a negative cosine x. And now applying the integration by parts formula, the given integral is equal to u times v, which is 3x times negative cosine x, or negative 3x cosine x, minus the integral of v du, where v is equal to negative cosine x, and du is equal to 3 dx. So because v is equal to negative cosine x, this becomes plus, let's factor out the 3, and we have the integral of cosine x dx. Notice now the new integral is simpler. So the final antiderivative is equal to negative 3x cosine x plus 3 times the integral of cosine x, which is equal to sine x. And then we add the plus c. I hope you found this helpful.